Eric, brand new machine from Dugard, this one. What, why have you picked this machine up and what are you looking to gain from this? Um, we've wanted to add this to our range of five axis machines. We've already got several in the range um, from a, a 320 table, 600 and uh, 1200 table. So it's quite a, um, a mix of uh, sizes. The previous models have all been with a B-axis tilting head and a rotary table. But we found more and more customers are asking for this trunnion type arrangement. Um, we looked at normal trunnion systems but didn't really uh, feel comfortable with that. So we decided to go with this travelling column style with the uh, table moving but the, the X and the Z. Uh, well you have a very hands-on approach to the well, you're very technical when it comes to the build of a machine, so you know a lot about the build quality behind this construction, do you? Yeah, we got very involved with the uh, supplier in that respect. Um, we, we know what the customers need. We want heavy duty rollerways, lots of spindle power. Uh, we've gone for a very simple direct drive system uh, with 12 or 15,000 RPM. So it, it makes maintenance and the use of the machine very simple for the customer. What about the B-axis on this machine, Eric? You, got, you, got, you get a minus 110, don't you? We do, yes. Yeah, it gives you quite a big range on the, on the B-axis. Uh, we've got a 650 table, so it's a nice big capacity on the table as well. And the speed of the machine and the options when it comes to the spindle? Um, this one, as I said, is 12,000. Um, we've got an option of 15,000 on there. We can offer a, 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 sorry, an electronic spindle, which gives you up to 24,000. But we feel that's a bit more exotic than most customers need for the general uh, subcontract market. There's also options on the tool changer, isn't there? But this particular model has 40 tools, I believe. Yeah, 40 is standard, uh, 60 is an option uh, on the tool changer. Uh, that can be CAT uh, 40 or BT 40 or even HSK, it's up to the customer to decide. Are you bringing these machines in highly specced through spindle coolant? I noticed from the guarding on the top that would be the case, wouldn't it? Yes, it is. We've got a fully enclosed guarding system, including the roof, uh, for through spindle coolant, which, as you say, is standard with 20 bar. 50 bar is an option and uh, we've got um, a swarf conveyor as a standard uh, equipment as well. So really the customer's ready to run with the machine as it stands. It's a pretty heavy machine as well, it's over eight tonnes I believe, so that would, that would help with the uh, rigidity element. Yeah, I mean we look to something that's very strong, as I say you've got roller ways on all axes, so uh, the weight of the machine lends itself to heavy machining um, with a, a nice big capacity table. One attraction I see immediately is the access, getting in the two doors opening, does that appeal to you? Uh, well, we looked again at many options. Um, most customers see, or most machine suppliers seem to have one door opening on the front, but we uh, we made sure that we got both access with both doors to avoid having a post in the corner, which can be quite uh, restrictive if you're trying to load the machine. And the control on this machine, we've got hide and hang on this one, but you've, you've told me already that there is an option to have different control systems. Yeah, um, Siemens seems to be coming along quite strongly as well on uh, five axis, so we've got the option of the 840 D control which gives you full five axis simultaneous but for some customers who are just looking at five sided machinery we can offer the 8 to 8 D Siemens control or even Fanuc which is a substantial saving really probably about 20% saving on the machine. Because I, I would hazard a guess that maybe only one in ten actually look to five axis simultaneous machining don't they? They do it's interesting a lot of customers even when we look at their applications don't really need full five axis simultaneous but they they tend to buy it as a future proof on the machine that they've got the facility in the future if they get a job come through that needs it. And when you close these doors, both windows are, are, are big as well, so you can see the working envelope, that's important too. Yeah, I think so. Customers like to be able to see what's happening, especially with a five axis trunnion machine. It's quite difficult to see what's happening around the job, when you, especially when you're setting and getting all the clearances right for the clamps and so on. Now you have, unquestionably, a lot of competition in this area. What, what's different for you, Eric? Why, why have you bought this machine in and how do you think you're going to how do you think you're going to succeed with installing lots of these? Um, well, we feel fairly confident we've got a very big user base with the uh, existing range of machines we've got. Uh, just that customers' demands were calling for this style of machine. Uh, very shortly, we'll be adding an 800 to the range as well, which gives even bigger capacity. And the next step is that we go to our um, 1200 size table, which um, you know we've just installed in Essex and is going very well. And I suppose to answer my question as well, you've already sold this machine, so that would that would tell me that you are going to have some success with it. When's it going in to the uh, new home? Uh, this one's sold to a company in Kent. It'll be going in in the next couple of weeks, along with a couple of VMCs. So um, we hope it'll be the first of many. And you're bringing them in regularly, so this isn't just going to be one here. They'll be, they'll be coming through the door on a regular basis. Exactly, yeah. We will always have a stock program, which is normal for us to have machines available quickly. Uh, initially, we'll probably only be stocking them with Hyde 9, because that seems to be the most uh, popular for most customers. 
Good stuff. I look forward to uh, visiting the customer in Kent. Thank you, Eric. Okay, thank you, Paul. Thanks.